morning everybody Rick here I found another stone arch bridge called the Crab Creek Bridge aptly named after a Crab Creek Road and I am just south and west of Dexter Kansas it's a beautiful morning this morning so if you're not doing anything and you want to come along and join me well I'm inviting you to come along so let's get started okay and once again, this is Crab Creek Bridge. This is in the Flint Hills, actually. It's very pretty. I mean, just, just really, really pretty down here. Um, I found this using bridgehunter, bridgehunter.com. It's really very easy to use. Just Google it and pick your state and then pick your county and just start looking. And it's just that easy. What I would recommend, however, is that you set your coordinates on your GPS before you leave home. Because I guarantee you, when you get to the mostly stone arch bridges are out in the middle of nowhere. And usually don't have any kind of connection, of course. So, those are a whole pile of concrete blocks. Wow, that's crazy. There's something out there kind of protruding out into the water. I'm not sure what that is. That tree stump down there looks like it's been set on fire. And again, more uh, concrete rocks or boulders or whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, like I was saying, um, a lot of these stone arch bridges, or any bridges for that matter, are like this. I mean, you're just out in the middle of nowhere. Just got to be very careful. Um, of your surroundings, of course. I don't know approximately where I'm at, so I mean that's all good. You know, I'm too, not too far from Dexter, Kansas. I'll give you a, a, and I don't know about what state you're living in, but around here, if there's a stone arch bridge that's open to the public, there'll be these little brown signs that will direct you to the bridge in most cases that if you know they're posted that way that usually means it's not on private property um, well there's two great big huge stone blocks <laughs> wow that's crazy and i've actually got a really good view of this old stone arch bridge this was built in 1900. The classic stone arch bridge. Very nice. I just tickled to death. I found one that I've not previously been to. I've been going to like, I think this makes my 11th or 12th bridge in my area, you know, so. And there's, uh, there's dozens and dozens more. Do you know if you're, if you decide to, to look for some stone or any bridge? It could be a railroad bridge. It could be a pedestrian bridge. It could be a road bridge. I've had some of those too. I really haven't in my past videos. You just have to make sure that it is not on private property. That is an absolute must. Now, this don't say anything marked about private property, but there's a, a there's a little wire, and this may be a one of those electric fences for cattle or something. So, I don't think I'm going to go on this side over here. We got the one side, and I think that's okay. But getting back to the private property deal, now, I don't know about everywhere else, but here locally, if you find a post 
a telephone pole, anything that's got a purple markings on it, that means private property. They do not have to have, property owners do not have to have a sign. If it's painted purple, that means it's private property. And you may drive for 30 miles to get to, to a bridge of some sort, and you'll get there and it'll say private property. Well, that's it. Game over. Just turn around and just, unless you can find the property owner, um, that's really all you can do for the time being. Now, if you do some research and you find the property owner and you get written permission, that's totally different. But some property owners, most property owners are very serious about that. That's why they've got it. <clears throat> no trespassing or the purple markings. They do not want anybody in there, period. I've had that happen once. And yes, I did drive a little bit of a ways to get to it. But I just turned around and left. But, the, but again, this website's called bridgehunter.com. And, you know, just most cell phones, most newer cell phones have GPS. Or get you a, a regular GPS machine. It's very peaceful out here, very quiet. Let me kind of pan around here. Like I said, this is, this is in the Flint Hills area. And it's very pretty down here. I know I keep saying that, but it just, it really is. I just... <laughs> I know, I try not to repeat myself, but it just really is pretty down here. And this is where I'm at. I'm just going to kind of pan around here. I've noticed that when I use my zoom, it gets kind of blurry. Well, not really blurry, just kind of fuzzy or something. I try not to use that too much. Or I'm going to try not to use it as much. Um... Actually, let me see here. This goes back quite a ways. I'm not sure how far back it goes. Actually, I've never been here before. This is the first. There's two massive stone blocks down there. It's huge. Now, see, there's a fence, not a fence, but a, a wire over here on this side. Now, having said this about the private property thing, the road part of the bridge, the deck part of the bridge, the bridge you drive over, that's not private property. But anything below the bridge could very well be private property if it's posted and or marked. It's just something to keep in mind because you could get into some serious trouble legal-wise, you know. Um, yeah. I would love to get the other part of this. Let me kind of walk out here a little bit. And I might be able to get a little bit of it. I'm walking right for this fence. And yeah, you kind of get a little... I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, bit so we can see this. Sorry. <laughs> this side of the bridge. Okay. Anyway, I've got one more to go to this morning. And it's in the same area. So hopefully I'll be able to find it. Yeah, this is just... Really, really cool. Sometimes I forget to kind of pan around a little bit and let you all see everything. I kind of forget to do that. It's like this part of the bridge right here that you drive over, it's all public. They can't make this private. It is an active bridge. But anything below that could very well be private property. Now, I've not seen anything other than these electrical lines. I think they're electrical lines. 
But this line is just right over the water. Quite a ways out. I don't see how anything could get past or get to this. It probably suits another purpose. I'm not sure what that might be. But anyway, I was just tickled to find this this morning. As long as you got GPS, you usually do usually do pretty good. I've been down some pretty scary dirt roads here lately. Last week, <laughs> it was just really, more, really nothing more than a cow path. And then I got all the way down there, and it wasn't what I was wanting. I was totally in the wrong place. So, you know, I mean, it happens with these. It really does. You just have to kind of go with the flow, and if it happens, you turn around and you regroup and you try it again. That's all you can do. Because sometimes even GPS, things are really hard to find. Really hard to find. Okay. Well, I think we're about done here. I'm going to go on and try to find this other one. It's remarkable how many years these stone arch bridges, and there's a I come up on one last week that was all caved in. The decking part was all caved in. And you couldn't get down to it to see the actual arch. So that was a scrub. You know, that was a no-go. And that'll happen. You know, it's just it's just part of it's just part of the game. You know, it's just part of what you do, finding these old stone arch bridges. But it's really cool that I found this one this morning so easily. Drove right to it with no problems. When you're going down these country roads, got to be really, really careful. I know I've been down a few that <laughs> I wish I hadn't gone down, but I made it all right. Okay, guys, I think we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to try to get the next location, so just hold on a little bit, and I'll see you after a while. So for right now, for right now, we'll see you later. We'll catch you later, hopefully here just after a while. So bye for now. Oh boy. Okay, guys. Um, I made it to another bridge. Literally just, just on the outskirts of Dexter, Kansas. Unfortunately, there is no way down there. And I don't know. I just can't tell what kind of bridge it is. It could be a stone arch. Or it could all be concrete. I just cannot get down there to see anything. I'll show you what I can see. And it's not much. <laughs> I've never been here before, so... Sometimes that's the way it goes, but hold on here just a minute. Okay, here it is. Um, it's kind of a bummer, but it goes that way sometimes. Maybe later on today I can try to find another one that's fairly close and I can go check it out. But it's all overgrown, I'll show you, and there's just, there's no way down there. There's only one way I can kind of sort of get a a peek at it but I don't know how it's going to come out on on video um, this is looking straight down from top of the bridge and it's all overgrown of course I had no way of knowing it was like this or I would not have bothered but now here's the other side It is very, very, very overgrown. And I'm literally just like maybe three blocks from down, well, not downtown, but the sea limits of Dexter. So, and then here is the other side, and it's just crazy. This is just all overgrown. There's no way down there. I kind of tried to walk around a little bit and. Um, I might have been able to get through that, through this here, and to get down there, but there's barbed wire fence all the way down. So it's just a bust. I apologize for that. I'll go over here just real quick and let you see what, as close as I can get. And I'm not going to promise how good it's going to turn out on video. 
pet. We'll go down there and let you see here. I think it's all concrete. I even tried walking down this way a little ways to see if I could get in, in, in another way. But there's just... Right here is the closest I can get. And I can kind of zoom in a little bit. But you can't tell. because it's so overgrown. No, I knew it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not going to try it because there's just no way down there. This is just all crazy overgrown. All right. Well, <laughs> maybe I can do go to that bridgehunters.com and find another one later on today. I'll try see what I can come up with. At least I'm not very far out from from home. Only about 20 minutes or so, so it's not like I drove for an hour or something. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go home and regroup for a little bit and do some more research and see if I can find another bridge to go to this afternoon. They've got some railroad bridges that are pretty cool. That's not too far away. I might try to go to one of those. Um, just have to wait and see what happens. So, hope you have a nice day the rest of the day. And as always, I thank you for subscribing and watching my channel. Hope you enjoy it. And as always... I'll catch you on the next video. So, bye for now. Hey everybody, I am back. I actually found another bridge to look at. It's called the McNabb Bridge over Cedar Creek. It was built in 1927 by Biggs and Polly of Winfield, Kansas. So, I just got through talking with a gentleman that owns a Stone Arch Bridge on private property. He has given me permission to go to the Stone Arch Bridge, which I'm going to go to here just after a while. But first of all, I want to show you this particular bridge here. There's a gate. He said I could open up the gate and go down and get a side view of it. That was very nice of him because there's no other way down here. I saw the gate, but I didn't dare go in. But he's told me I could um, go on and look around a little bit. That's really cool. Just perfect timing. So, if you're not busy, well, I'm inviting you to join me. Let's go check out this bridge. Okay. This is, like I said on my intro, this is a McNabb Bridge. Built in 1927. You know, I have lived here all of my life in this area. And I had no idea this was here. Not a clue. It's amazing what you can find. Just a little bit of research. But like I've been saying, there's at bridgehunters.com. And that's how I found out about this. There's actually Stone Arch Bridge just further down the road a little ways. That he's given me permission to go on too. And I'm going to be doing that a little bit. Here is a plaque that reads McNabb bridge over Cedar Creek, Biggs and Polly, Winfield Kids, 1927. That is just really cool. We're going to go down here, we're going to look around here a little bit, and then we're going to get a, a bottom view of it. You know, if he wanted to come by at that, just, I mean, I had just pulled up, and he come down in tractor, and I told him what I was doing. He said, well, there's another stone arch bridge just down the road here. I said, well, how cool is that? He said, you can go see that one if you want to. 
I said, well, is it on private property? He said, yes, but I'm the property owner. Oh, boy, I thought, oh, man, that's like one in a million. Seriously, that's, that's, that's like one in a million. So, that's what we're going to go do here in a minute. We're going to go down this side of the bridge. And then we're going to go the other side. And then we're going to go down and take a look at the bottom. And I'm really super excited because we're going to go to this other stone arch bridge here in just a few minutes. Have to do a little bit of walking, but that's all right. That's fine. I'll do that. <laughs> Somebody just drove by and waved and kind of gave me a weird look. Bet they don't get very many people down here because it's probably not very well known. The gate he's talking about is right down here. I've seen it. He says more than welcome to go down and check it out. Why don't you look at this land around this bridge? That is really unique. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Not around a bridge, not like this. This is really different down here. This is so cool. I'm like, I am literally like 15 minutes from home. And that makes it even better, you know. That's the way it goes sometimes. You know, sometimes you get a, a really good hit on these, and other times it's a fail. Like that Dexter Bridge was a fail. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go on down here. There's the gate he was talking about. Okay, well, I got past the gate. So let's go down and check this out. These are called truss bridges. It looks like it's all concrete. And here's the underside of the bridge. Right here, we're going to walk on down. It's pretty well gated up, except he was gracious enough to let me at least get the bottom or the side view of the bridge. And that was so nice of him. A really nice guy, really friendly. <laughs> that was so cool. I said, well, um, is it on private property? He said, yeah, but he said, I am the property owner. I thought, well, how cool is that? Now, this is actually the underside of the bridge. Let me kind of walk up here just a little bit. Okay, there we go. There again, there's the top. And then here's the underneath. Really cool. A lot of land surrounding the bridge and there's Cedar Creek right there and it's just a smaller creek this actually winds and twists and turns all around on down into there big huge tree trunk down here Wow It's so quiet and so peaceful down here. It's really a very uh, well-built concrete bridge. Like I said, it's been here since 1927. That is really cool. Well, let me walk back up this way. And we'll kind of walk down here a little bit and walk around. 
just back up to the gate. I'm not going to go any further than that. And as you can tell, it's got fencing all along there. You can't actually get under, but this is good enough right where we're at. This is perfect right here. No, this is not a problem at all. And then here's this, like I showed earlier. Wow. Really nice. Another bridge. This makes the second bridge today. And I could have as many as four more to go to this afternoon, but they're all within just literally the other three bridges I'm going to go to are literally outskirts of uh, Winfield. Like a five minute drive. Maybe ten from one end to the other. So I'm going to be doing that later on. I'm going to see if I can get on this stone arch bridge just down the road. He said there'll be a dead end. I'll have to get out of the car and have to walk. Walk a little ways. So you know what? That's okay. I've got permission to do this. And by golly, I'm going to do it. It may take me a little while to walk down there. But that's all right. I forgot to ask him the name of the bridge. There might be one down there or... I don't know. I'll figure that out. Okay. Well, that was really nice, that individual, that gentleman, to do that. I'm going to walk back up and fasten the gate back okay well I got the gate fastened back maybe not as good as it was but it is fastened back all right I bet that'd be really cool to walk down through but I'm not going to do that this is all private property so and he was gracious enough to let me go check out the underneath of the bridge which is really cool. I don't, you know, this, when you can find bridges in your own backyard, so to speak, you know, figure of speech, that is really cool. You're like, you know, 15 minutes from your, from your home, and you can find things like this. This is just so cool. And I've been living here all my life. <laughs> And I did not know this was here. That just says the same thing, but McNabb Bridge over Cedar Creek. Biggs and Polly, Winfield, Kansas, 1927. Anyway. This is just so cool down here. Very peaceful. Very quiet. All right, guys, we're going to go for now. I'm going to try to find this stone arch bridge, and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, well, here's the road closed sign. So let's see if we can find this stone arch bridge. He goes down a little ways, so 
That's where we're headed. Okay. This is way off the grid, I'm telling you. This wasn't even on bridgehunters.com. Or not that I'm aware of anyway. He said it might be down like 500 feet from the road close sign. So, hopefully we run into it here pretty soon. Okay guys, I think I found it. I do believe I found it. This is so cool, check this out. Yep, I'm sure this is it. Like I said earlier, this is way off the grid. There's no markings, no plaques, not anything. This is just, this is crazy. I thought I'd been out in the boonies before. Well, this is the epitome of the boonies. Ooh wee. There may not be a way down here to actually look at the arches, but I'm going to try. I think there's a way down on this side, but I wanted to make sure, I'm pretty sure this is it. I mean, this is, I bet very few people I saw the property owners even know this is even here because this is like I said earlier. This is way off the grid. There's like a stone arch bridge that Google's not aware of. <laughs> I think I can walk right down through here and get a side view of this bridge, I'm sure hoping. crazy and looky here sure enough look at this check this out check this out. Look at that bridge. It's huge. There it is. Wow, we. Wow.
Wow, this is just so cool. Okay, I walked down just a little bit further, and I do believe I got the whole arch. I don't have no idea when this was built, who built it. This is just, like I said, this is way off the grid. Most of these were built in the late 1800s to early 1900s. Most of these I've found so far. But, other than that, I have no idea. This is just so cool. All on private property. Got the owner's permission. Everything. That is just so cool. I can get down here just a little bit. I can show you even more of it. Wow. I think that's the closest I can zoom in and the closest I'm going to be able to get is right there. Kind of zoom in just a little tiny bit. This will be an unknown, but that's all right. It's still one that I would have no earthly idea. This was here. Could you imagine having this, something like this on your own private property? That is so cool. Wow, we. I know I say that a lot, but I'm just overwhelmed right now. To be able to find a stone arch bridge on private property with the owner's permission to see a stone arch bridge that is off the grid is just so cool. Hmm. Yeah, this is literally the closest I can get. But there it is. Wow, we. I don't want to leave. <laughs> I know I got to, but. Man. Yep. Okay, I'll show you where I just came from. Just like this little, not little, but <laughs> a path of sorts. It's not really a path, but we'll call it that. Pretty good sized rocks all over the place down here, too. I completely passed this the first time. Drove down quite a ways, turned around, came back, and sure enough, there was a dead end road close sign. I found it. It's not down that far, it might be 500 feet. But now I'm on my way back out. It makes you wonder how many more of these are around on private property that's not listed at all. Not listed. And of course, there's a top of it right up here. We'll go up here one more time. And I'll probably head on back. No, this guy came down rolling a tractor and I told him what I did. I'd hunted for bridges and he said, well, he said, I've got a stone arch bridge on my property. He said, you're more than welcome to, to go look at. So I thanked him and I thought I found it.
So that is just so cool. Yep. Really, really cool. But anyway, I think we're going to call this good. Okay, well, I was about to go and I run into the property owner again and there's actually another way that you could walk down and get another view of this bridge. So that's what I'm going to do. We're just going to walk down this little, there's a little path right over here, here in just a minute. Really friendly guy, really nice. We're going to walk down here. We're going to get another view of this huge, but it's huge arch bridge. It's up real high. It's probably one of the, the bigger ones that I've that I've come across since I've been doing all this. So just go up this little road here. The guy told me that this almost been flooded out a few times and he's trying to reinforce it so it won't, you know, get ruined or collapse or anything. So, we're going to work our way around here. I'm trying not to jerk this around too much, but it's kind of difficult to do when you're walking down a little um, path. Or not path, but um, like a little dirt road. <laughs> oh yeah, see what he means. Okay. All right, well, that's cool. Oh 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 oh! I just about forgot. This is the Elrod Bridge. I tried to go this Elrod Bridge here last week and I couldn't because it was on private property. How ironic again is this that I'm actually finding or found this Elrod bridge. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes, now see I got the dates. When I get back home I'll look this up on bridge headers and it's got the Elrod bridge, it's got the dates and, and all that when I get uh, get back home I'll make sure that I get all that information I don't know if this is going to sound strange, but this almost kind of smells like maple down here. Yeah, I'm not lying. I know that sounds kind of strange, but
Oh, I'm so glad I found this. I bet this is going to give us an even more spectacular view because we don't have anything in our way. No tree limbs or branches or anything like that. Oh, here it is too. Oh, wow. Wait till you guys see this. Oh, wow. Check this out. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. If you thought it was cool before, look at this. I'm actually on the other side. Oh, wow. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk on up here so I get the underside of the bridge. I might as well. I came this far. I might as well walk a few more feet. Oh my goodness. This is huge. I know you can't tell by the video, but these blocks in this bridge are huge. I'm literally standing just almost underneath as, as much as I can possibly get. Well, I can walk out here just a little bit further. I'll do that and then I'll just kind of do, just kind of go like this. Now my voice is echoing now because I'm literally right underneath this bridge. And I don't know if my voice is going to echo in the video or not. But this is the Elrod Bridge, and this is what I was trying to get last week, or get to, rather, last week. And I'm directly underneath it. I never dreamt I'd get this close. Is this I think out of all the bridges I've done in the last couple of weeks this has to be the best absolutely now we'll kind of go back out here and do this again.
One last look at the Elrod Bridge. I think the uh, Bridge Hunters website said this was one of the prettier stone arch bridges in this area and they were not lying. Not at all. And we'll just work our way out of here now. Well, I tell you what, that was a special treat for me today. I was really bummed when I could not go see this Elrod Bridge. And like I said earlier, it was like one in a million of being able to find, or actually run into the property owner and get permission to do this today. Okay, I've got some other truss style bridges I want to go to today. So, I think I'm going to call this particular video good for right now. And I'll be back with you shortly. So, bye for now. Okay, just wanted to close out today's videos. I was not able to go to any more bridges today. Um, I just kind of ran out of time. But I did go to like three bridges and then um, one was a fail, more or less. That does happen. I do want to clarify one thing though. When I was talking about private property and all that sort of thing, um, it, on this bridgehunters.com, they will normally tell you if it's private property or not. So, I mean, that's just if you use that website. But I just want to clarify that, um, what I was talking about earlier. Um, but I just have to reiterate how cool it was to actually, just by pure chance, run into the property owner for that Elrod Bridge uh, when I was at the McNabb Bridge. And he gave me permission to go on his property. He even showed me another way to get to the bridge. For a better view, I thought that was just so cool. It just happened by chance. It's just the way it worked out. But at any rate, um, well, thank you for watching my videos. I thank my subscribers. Um, it means a lot to me. Hope you do enjoy them. I do enjoy doing it so much. Hope you enjoy watching them as well. That's the whole point. Um, but at any rate, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna call it good for today. And hope you have a nice day. And as always, hopefully, I will catch you on the next video. So, bye for now.